Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Uh, so in this video tutorial, just, just I am going to restructure my school project uh, in that scenario. So that, that is the previous one uh, I have created in the school project because the school project, you know that it's a larger project. And just I'm confusing in the term uh, of entities, uh, the relationship between the entities. So here we have a grades. Grade I mean to say that here we have a classes. The first class, second class, etc. So that is pretty cool. And the next one is the session. So session start from 2023 to 2024. And in that student, just I want to enroll that these are the students, but it's not a good approach right there. So if you if you want to create a new student, that is cool. Because first name, last name, date of birth, email, and the password is data, uh, that is cool. But uh, if you want to assign that, uh, uh, just I want to add a new section right there. So what what is the pro procedure behind this? How to get all the students which is related to that class? So uh, in that session, I will do this all these things. Okay. Okay. So first of all, just I'm going to go for the model section, and here we have a session data and in the session data you can see that here we have a id start and end that is pretty cool but you notice that here we have a enrollment that is not pretty cool so just remove from here and that is not a pretty cool right there so just remove also from this uh, entity so that is pretty cool so a session actually related to the classes so uh, here here I'm going to add a class entry that is the related to your uh, that is the grade grade is a name of the class so here I'm going to add a grade related data so I will define uh, I was define this uh, session group I mean to say that session and related to the class so just I'm going to use session class right there and here I'm going to use session classes okay so here we have uh, that is the matched with that session and the classes. So many to many relation between the session and the class. So just copy that uh, name and paste it here session classes. And also just I'm going to add a session group because group is related to the class. So session group is there session groups. Okay. So here we have a session groups and session group is uh, here we have. So just I'm going to add a new class session groups. Add a new model. Empty, empty file. And here we have a session groups.cs. Just add this file. Okay, so group and the session have a many to many relationships. So just stop this debugging first. And here we have a session group. Just open uh, that uh, session group and here we have a session. So just the same line of code we'll use for the grade. Uh, oops, groups and the grades are confusing terms. So session group. Uh, okay, okay. Just I'm going to change the grade name to the group or you make some changes in the class names. Okay. So just I want to uh, give it name that is class. Okay, so here we have a class name and session have a session classes. Instead of group, we can take class and here I'm going to add session classes. Okay, and session classes is the name of your term. So here I'm using two session class uh, session classes there. So session group is renamed with the session class. Okay. So here we have a session class name and the session have a session classes. So uh, relationship between the session and the class have many to many. A session have multiple classes and a class have multiple session. So uh, the similar class uh, is there. So class ID, class name, but the relationship between the session and the class is like that. So just remove that section from here and assign grade that is not matched, also not matched. And this is also not matched. I collection here we have. So uh, the session and the class relationship there is. 
many to many so just you can use it here instead of grade subject okay so uh, the relationship between the session and the class have these okay the next uh, the relationship it is there session and the class so the next term is to use it here that is the session class id session id that is there and the public integer class id that is the class id okay so uh, here i'm going to use class id and the session id and that is the primary key uh, on the basis of this but uh, here i'm using that is the primary key you can that uh, you can say that session class id okay and make it here that is id okay so uh, that is the relationship between the session and the class that is session class id got it now the next relationship between the class and the section so uh, here we have a session class session and the class okay so the next relationship between is what that is the section so just i am going to add a new model right there so add a new empty file and here i am going to add section.cs and you know that uh, session and the class have many to many relationship so similarly class and section also have a many to many relationship so uh, here we have these are the data Se like the session id that is the section id and here we have a public string section name and here i'm going to use public i collection class section that is the name class and the section that is the new entity of class and the section so uh, here i'm going to use copy and paste it here with the new model new empty file class section dot cs okay so here we have a class section class sections so the same entry we will be put it here in the class because here we have a many to many relationship between the class and the section so the section have the class section also section have relationship with between the uh, with the student a section have multiple student so section student is there okay a section have multiple student student have multiple section is not there so that is the section student so the relationship between the section and the student have many to many so section student is actually exist because suppose a allies have a section a but in the second class is allies have section in the b so a student have a uh, multiple section during the promotion and you can just add a uh, section student so just copy that and model inside it here add a new empty file section student.cs so here we have a section student and a student have lots of entries you know id first name last name date of birth date of join and uh, that is the selected it's what i don't know and that is the key id that is fine and but here we have enrollment year session that is not there but uh, you know that a uh, section have multiple uh, class sections so just copy that uh, name and add it here okay that is pretty cool so inside in the student.cs here we have a student.cs so inside the section student here we have to add these entries section student id section id section and student id and have with the student id so that's fine now here we have a classes class section and the section are there class section is actually empty so just fill this with the class and the section relationship so the class and the section is like that class section id that is both are the class section id class id and that that is the section id okay so here we have a class and the section relationship between the class and the sections so just close all and you know that here we have a assigned grade so just remove class and class section enrollment is delete and the next one is grade subject so just delete because just i want to add the next section and sales data that is not related to that and the next one is section section student session session classes student subject subject is not related to that uh, on that time 
so the next one is the teacher and the teacher session so the next one i will declare the, all these entries in the letter session okay so here we have uh, that is application user is fine because this i want to add an identity to login purpose class and the first one is the session have in the class so, so the relationship between the class and the session that is session class the next one is the class and uh, section so here we have a class and section the next one is student and uh, student section so section student is there so similarly here we have these are the uh, primary focus on these primary fields and the next one is the repository section so just i am going to add these are repositories so here we have a generic repository so there is a no relations but uh, here i am going to add application db context sales data is not related to that topic so just remove this students teacher teacher is also not there and here i am going to add a different types of uh, the grade and the teacher relationship between the uh, own model creating so because here we have not need right there and here i'm going to add these olr and uh, these entries so you know so here we have a session so here i'm going to define uh, these are classes that is sessions classes sections students sections classes sections uh, class sections and section students also just i'm going to add default data by using the seeding purpose so just like that so finally i'm going to uh, define these uh, seeding uh, of the data in in their respective uh, models so here we have a session and you know that uh, has data that is session id that is like that session id and uh, start year so uh, here we have a session sorry section so here we have a id so you know that so there is a no need to write here id and that is id and start year and end year so here we have a start and end features start and end year so start and end start and end and you know that these are the string types so there is a notation between that calculation so make it here start here and end here okay so uh, pretty cool so start and end and that is start and end. okay okay so here we have a session data and the next one is the class so what is the class id and the name so we'll just go for id and the name id name id id class have their id and the name oops okay 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 it's like that it's not section that is id and that is name similarly that is name class 1 and class 2 and that is the section so section id and section name like that so here we have section id and that is the section name the next one is the student uh, related data so here we have the student uh, entries id first name last name uh, id first name last name because here we have a id is also there and key id is mandatory to login purpose so uh, this time I'm going to add uh, in the uh, on the UI uh, section point of view. Okay.
okay so uh, just i'm going to remove the uh, entry from here that that is the key id so that is removed from here and you know that these are the data so uh, just i'm going to add essential data in the student so finally i'm going to add essential data in the student that is the student id and the name age and the roll number and you know that a student have multi uh, in the section student okay so application db context right there so here we have a student related data and here we have a id id and that is id okay so here we have these data the next one is the section class id so section and the class relationship this are the class id and section id so section id is like that and these are the class id okay and the next one is the class and the section so class and section id class id is what one one and one section id is one two and three one one and one so here we have a class and the section ids okay so uh in this video just i'm going to add section and the classes section students and these are the entries in the class and the section okay